Solomon is the only pharaoh who has sustained and looked after his country beyond his reign, because he has been the gift that keeps on giving. 2022 marks the 100th anniversary of the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb, and also really for Tutankhamun being given back to the world. As ever, when a young 19-year-old dies, as was the case with Tutankhamun, there are going to be lots of ideas and questions as to how he died. There are several theories. Initially, there was one that someone had hit him on the head. That proved to be medically incorrect. Um, there were theories that he fell from a chariot, that there was too much interbreeding, and so he grew weak and died. And there are many other medical ideas that have been put forward, but really, there is at this point not much proof for any of it. This beautiful perfume vase of alabaster was one of the many precious objects entombed with the body of the king, whose coffin of solid gold reflects the genius of unknown craftsmen. Ever since the discovery of his tomb, Tutankhamun has helped Egypt's economy and political goals a huge amount. So really, he is the one true pharaoh of Egypt who has been loyal to his country for several thousand years.